In this video, I want to show you the six different things that you can automate using Power BI in order to save yourself from the manual work and to instead focus your time to the stuff that are more important for your business. I'm going to explain them to you one by one with some real life scenarios so you can relate and maybe find out if Power BI can help you out in that aspect. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. My name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So for the past couple of weeks I've been getting more and more questions about what sort of tasks you can automate with Power BI and this actually made me realize that for the most part um, if you don't work with Power BI often or a lot you might not know that uh, Power BI can help you with a lot of things not just reporting so you can automate a lot of different things that um, runs it on the background um, that is not visible if you're just looking at it from a dashboard perspective so hopefully by the end of this video you'll know what aspects you can automate with power bi in order to make your daily lives easier the first aspect is to automate data extraction as a data analyst you must have worked with some reports where you have to uh, provide the same report on a daily basis or a weekly basis monthly or maybe a yearly basis and a lot of the times what i see are data analysts downloading uh, excel extracts directly from their source systems into Excel and the Excel is what they're using as their source data for their Power BI. Uh, maybe they do it in Power BI or maybe they do it in Excel. Uh, they do the transformations and calculations and then they send it off to the client. However, depending on the source system that you have or the type of workflow that you have, maybe you need to set some certain filters or maybe you need to log in first. Doing this task on a daily basis can be quite challenging and time consuming. So with Power BI, you can integrate your reports directly to the sources system so you don't have to do this manual extraction if you don't need to and you can refresh your data in your reports with a single click of a button. Power BI supports getting data from a plethora of services, uh, online services like Zendesk or GitHub uh, or SharePoint folder, uh, you name it and most likely they have it. If you're unable to create an integration between Power BI and your source system uh, and you definitely have to uh, get these data into an Excel or CSV formats for you to report on. Don't lose hope because depending on what kind of available features you have in your source systems, if uh, it can be sent automatically to you via email, you can use Power Automate to kind of fill in the gaps and automate those processes. I've actually covered this exact same scenario in a different video, so I'll leave a link um, in the description box below or somewhere here. Um, it will show you how to set an automation that will um, get this data from an email to a SharePoint folder where your Power BI can uh, collect it, which automates the whole process. The second thing that you can automate are the data transformations. If you have repetitive tasks that you do on your data, like cleaning it or transforming it, you can actually use Power BI to automate these for you. From simple tasks like renaming your columns or deleting columns, to things like pivoting your columns or maybe adding some calculations or doing VLOOKUPs. If you do them repetitively and you can replicate them uh, step by step, Power BI can do it for you. So from simple actions like renaming columns or deleting columns to creating VLOOKUPs or creating some calculations within new columns, uh, you can string these actions up into step by step and Power BI will just execute that for you every time you refresh your data. You only need to set up these steps once um, and for the consecutive uh, data refreshes that you get, it means that you don't have to do it yourself. Power BI will just run these steps for you, uh, which saves a lot of time and also removes the manual errors that you might have if you have, you know, sort of complex set of actions that you have to do, it removes the manual errors that uh, can occur from that uh, transformation. In this channel, we cover tons of DAX and Power Query, which are just some of the tools that you can use to automate some of the transformation steps that you need to, you know, clean up your data or create calculations based on your data. So if you're interested in these types of videos, go check them out. The third aspect that you can automate are your visuals and your insights. Power BI provides tons of visualizations that you can use with your data, but where Power BI truly shines is with its AI-assisted uh, visuals that turns your data 
into insights automatically. Some of my favorites are the Q&A feature, which lets you ask questions to your data using natural language. Another one is the key insights, which uses clever algorithm to determine what causes a metric to go up or down based on what data you feed it. And also smart narratives, which explains your data in natural language, uh, finding things like trends and correlations to your data. I covered all of these AI assisted features in separate videos. So if you're interested in learning on what they do separately, go check out those videos. The fourth aspect that you can automate is the sharing of your report. Now what I've seen quite often are reports attached to emails and send out to multiple people. And this kind of sharing has a lot of problems on its own. Some of the problems could include the fact that you are doing this manually or that the data could be outdated and also having no control over who has access to these reports uh, because these emails could be forwarded to anybody. Because Power BI reports are shared within the Power BI service, it means that when you share reports, you share them to user accounts. Um, and with this type of sharing, it means that you can control who has access to these reports, what type of access do they have, um, and who they can forward it to. This gives you better control over who sees your data and who sees your reports. And you can even use role level security in order to find control the access to the different aspects of your data if you have parts of it that are sensitive. If you're sharing with larger groups, you can also use security groups, which acts as like mailing lists, um, which uh, gives you better control and easier um, management of your recipients uh, within Power BI service. Now, because sharing is automated, you want to make sure that your data is always up to date, which leads me up to my next aspect, which is automating data refresh. So with Power BI, you know that you can hit the refresh button, which will refresh your reports from your data sources. But did you know that you can set up scheduled refreshes? So these are done automatically uh, on a regular basis without you doing anything. So with the scheduled refreshes, you can set refreshes to happen a couple of times per day uh, or maybe weekly or maybe monthly. So maybe you want to keep your data refreshed uh, every morning or maybe you want your data to be refreshed a couple of times per day. You can even hook up refreshes to be triggered by certain events. So maybe you want to refresh your data when you receive a certain email or maybe you just want to refresh your report when a new set of data is available for you. With these type of automations, you can set up your reports in a way that it doesn't depend on you and you don't even have to log in for these to work. The sixth aspect that you can automate are the alerts and emails. So with alerts, you can set it up so that an email is sent when a certain metric reaches a certain threshold. So maybe you want to be notified by email if your target goals have been reached for the day, or maybe you want to track your satisfaction ratings with your customers and you want to be notified when this threshold uh, is reached. You can set alert emails so you are notified or your colleagues are notified when certain scheduled refreshes fail. You can even set scheduled subscriptions so your clients receive an automated email on a regular basis with the reports attached. Uh, and it's useful if you just want to give your clients a snapshot of your report. And that's really it. So as you can see, you can use Power BI to automate the process end to end. So from getting data to sharing it to your client. Um, but what's great about Power BI is that it's flexible. So you can do it, uh, have the process automated for you or automate certain aspects and take control manually over certain things. I know I've linked tons of videos for you today um, and that's because I've covered all of these subjects in the past already. So what I'll do is I'll compile all of these links in the description box below. So if you find an aspect that you want to learn and learn how to automate, you can follow those links to those separate videos. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really enjoyed this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.